So welcome back to Code Station 33. Today we are going to talk about a special type of variable that allows us to save values in a program and make sure those values can't change. Now you might say, why would you want to do that? Well, one example of that would be pi. You know, 3.141592653589793. something like that. And you have this big, long digit of pi. Now, a lot of times in math class, we'll write an approximation for pi as 3.14. But if you want real um, accuracy in your answers, you might want to carry pi out to many, many more digits. But that is a real pain in the neck in order to do calculations in the computer and constantly be writing out all those digits of pi. You could create your own variable and set up a value for pi and put in all the digits and just use that throughout your program. But fortunately, you don't have to. In Arduino and in many, many other languages, they have created for you a constant. And the constant essentially is exactly what it says it is. The value stays the same. No matter what program you use, if you use a variable with a capital P and a capital I and you use that in your calculations that is the value of pi all the way out to I don't know I think it looks like 20 digits so you have many many digits of pi to work with that's called a constant and there are several built-in constants that are put into our Arduino like half pi 2 pi uh, the conversion for degrees to radians, the conversions for radians to degrees, and of course a couple we've looked at already. Input and output, those we've looked at. High and low, those we've looked at. Uh, input pull-up, we've looked at. And true and full, false. Those are all built-in constants. The other thing you can do is create your own constants. So for example, you might have decided that you need something a little bit different. Um, maybe you want something called apple pie and it's only 6.28. It doesn't carry out all the way to the same number of decimal places that twice pi would. So let's look at some of these things in code and see how we would use them in our Arduino sketch. So here is an Arduino sketch and you know, we don't need to worry much about the Arduino. The only thing we're really looking at is the code here. So let's just focus in on that. And I've listed out here for you what is actually stored for each of these constants. And you can see we have many, many digits listed for us for pi, half pi, two pi, degrees to radians, and so forth. And then I created my own constant. Now let's talk about this for a second. Down here in line 18, I use the command CONST. That is the command we use to declare a constant inside of Arduino. There is another way of doing it using a hashtag define but that's not really widely accepted and it doesn't work on every Arduino device. So this is the way you should be doing it. Then we declare the type. In this case, it's gonna be a float. We've talked about types before. Uh, we could make one for any data type that we want. Then we put the name of the variable that we wanna use, apple pie, in this case, and I'm gonna say it's 6.28. It's important to note where you do this you want this constant accessible everywhere in the program. Therefore, we need to make sure we declare it outside of the setup method and outside of the loop method. If we do it inside the setup method and tried to use Apple Pie somewhere else, we would get an error that would tell us that we, are, we have not defined Apple Pie, for example, in loop, if we put it inside a setup. And that's that idea of scope again. Wherever the variable is defined is where it's accessible. Here it's defined outside of setup and loop, so it's accessible everywhere. If we defined it just inside of setup, then it would only be accessible within setup. If we defined it within loop, then it would only be accessible within loop. So we need to make sure that we declare our constants outside of void setup and outside of void loop so they're accessible anywhere within our program. Then I just did a little program here. You could see serial begin 9600 in the setup. 
and then I just printed out all these values onto the screen. I'm going to run this and I want you to see what's interesting about the output. So I ran it, I'm going to open up my serial monitor, and you can look at the numbers. You notice how we've actually truncated many of the numbers. 3.14 is not what is actually stored within that variable. It's actually a number that is much larger, right? When we looked at that, it's 3.14159265, blah, 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 blah. That's what's actually stored in there. So if we do any calculations with pi as a constant, this is the number that's used. But the computer is set up to automatically display numbers only to two digits. Now we could format that differently so it displays it out multiple digits, but print line is set up the way they wrote the code is that if you put in any number in here, it's only going to display that out to two decimal places. And that's why we're only seeing those two decimal places. If we want to do more, we'd have to format our, our output a little bit. And we'll look at formatting strings in the next section. You can notice that we've done all of them here that are in the list. And then, of course, I have my apple pie that I created. So this is how you create all of your different constants and how you use them in code. So if I wanted to calculate the, um, let's say, the area of a circle using pi r squared, I could do pi, and I could do times, and I could use my math function um, if I wanted to, but I think we're just going to do 3 times 3, right? I could use my math to do PO powers for 3 squared, but I think to keep it simple, just do pi times 3 times 3. And when I run this, this time, I don't know, my serial monitor, I know that's going really fast. Let me go in here and hit stop so I can see the actual information. And we can see we get it, we're getting 28.27 is the area of the circle Again, it's only going to two decimal places. So that's it in order to calculate constants. Uh, it may not sound like it's really useful, but there are other languages that have other constants that are even more useful than the ones that are stored here in Arduino. So constants are a huge piece of information uh, that we use in programming, not just in Arduino languages, but in many, many languages. And knowing what those constants are, are really important and, and do make life easier. For example, do you know the largest number that the computer can store? And it changes from computer to computer. Wouldn't it be great if the computer could just have a constant that tells you what the largest number that that computer can store is? Unfortunately, it doesn't exist in the Arduino, but it does exist in other languages where you can just know the largest number that the computer can store in. By the way, the largest int the computer can store in for your Arduino is two to the 15th. That's the largest integer. 2 to the 64th for the largest long. Floats are a little bit different. It's just the number of decimal places. But we talked about that a little bit when we talked about types. So that's all for today about learning about constants. I'll see you next time.